Hello. Uh, my name is unimportant, but this is my confession. Confession for what, you might ask? Well, I create Lolita slave toys. In case you were wondering what I mean, it is very simple. I transform young girls into easy, manageable sex toys. That's it. The girls cannot walk away, cannot resist, cannot tell anything. They are just there for your sadistic amusement. Curious how? Well, I am a surgeon living in one of those countries at the eastern outskirts of Europe. A pretty rough society still. Poverty is enormous and unless you have money and connections, you're fucked. Needless to say, I have both. We also have beautiful girls here. Eastern European countries are well known for that. Fortunately for me, some of these girls don't have parents or relatives anymore and live in orphanages. Actually, I would not call that living. It is unbelievable what you will find there. Some very young girls are lucky and get adopted, but at the age of 8 or 9 they are too old. Some of the more pretty girls get sold into prostitution and you can consider it luck for them too instead of slowly fading away into filth and poverty. And a few girls I buy. I generally pick the attractive girls around 9 or 10 years old before puberty starts. The orphanage is very cooperative. They are glad to have one less mouth to feed and one new place to fill. They also gladly accept my donation for the girls. They never ask, I never tell. They know I am a surgeon, they probably think I do some experiments with the girls or cut out and sell the organs. But no. I found a much more profitable business. I turn the girls into sex toys. You can order Loli to slave toy if you want. They're not cheap. I charge a between 30,000 and 40,000 US dollar for a toy. That is without shipping cost. But you will have a Lolita slave sex toy that will give you satisfaction for many years. She is like a doll, but she is a living doll. Let me tell you how I turn a young orphan girl into a living doll. When I have found a new suitable girl, I will ask the orphanage to deliver her at my villa. She will arrive naked, tied, and blindfolded. After a brief inspection and a quick medical check, I will take her to my special clinic in my villa. First, I will clean her very thoroughly. These girls really smell and are filthy. They have not seen a bath for ages and they are really neglected. When she is finally clean, I put her in a hospital bed and give her an injection that will put her to sleep. I will create her a new identity and give her a new name. I don't know the girl's real names, I just know their age, that's all I need. At the orphanage, any data they have will be destroyed. She never existed. She will from now on only exist as a toy. I have a couple of Lolita slave toys myself. Dasha who is 11 years old and she is just at the final stage of her transformation. Tanya, who is now 12 years old, two years since I created her, and Luda, who is 14 years old and four months pregnant. Ugh. The next morning is the big operation day. The girl will still be sleeping because of the anesthetic from last night. I put her on the operation table and administer anesthetics for the operation to come. So if you are wondering why my slave toy will not resist or just simply walk away. Very simple. I amputate her legs and arms. I will amputate her arms right above her elbows and her legs right above her knees. Easy, isn't it? This girl will never run away from you. For the girl, this is a very heavy operation and it is probably the most critical step in the transformation process. But most of the times, they survive. Now. I am not just leaving these girls with stumps on their arms and legs. I will attach a 5 cm metal bar very tightly to the bone of her arms and legs before stitching up the wounds. The other end of the metal bar has a screw thread where I can attach an o-ring. When she is ready, you can easily secure her with a chain or padlock to any object you like. My Tanya and Luda normally have a chain behind their back attached to both o-rings on the stumps of their arms. It will keep their arms nicely close to her body. In the beginning, you have to really take care of the wounds on the stumps to prevent infections. Once the wound is healed completely, 
I will place a silicone cover over the stump. The outside of the cover is covered with white velvet and this actually looks quite sweet despite the rather cruel o-rings at the end. After a few months, when the legs and arms are fully recovered, you can put some more strain on the o-rings. I started a year ago to hang Tanya and Luda on their arms and legs from the ceiling. It is such an interesting form of decoration in your room to have a naked Lolita hanging from your ceiling. And it is very nice to use her cunt or mouth when she is hanging like that. But before that is a long way to go. The operation is not ready yet with amputating her arms and legs. Next, I will also cut her vocal cords so she can no longer speak or even make noises and remove her teeth from her mouth. When I have removed all her teeth, I implant a silicone layer with a soft layer top to the jaws. She will still be able to give blowjobs, but she can no longer bite. It is actually quite nice how it chews a little bit. It's almost like a massage. The silicone implant is however absolutely necessary. If not, her mouth would look like a toothless granny. This will keep her good looks. To further keep her mouth in good shape, she will wear a ball gag most of the time. That does sound somewhat obsolete because I cut her vocal cords and she cannot speak anyways. But this is just because of aesthetics. A gagged girl simply looks good and besides feeding, drinking, and fucking, she does not need her mouth anymore. Once the operation is ready, I will give the girl one or two weeks to recover to let the wounds heal. Then her training begins. She is no longer an ordinary girl, but become a toy. There are a lot of things she has to learn. Since she has no teeth anymore, she cannot eat. She has to be fed again, like a baby. I actually feed her once a day with a baby bottle, infant formula, because it contains all minerals and vitamins. I don't give her more. I don't want her to get fat. Because she cannot move anymore, you have to be careful with that. She gets to drink a baby bottle with water, tea, or lemonade three or four times a day, so she gets at least two liters of liquids per day. That is sufficient to keep her healthy. In the beginning, I will put the bottle in her mouth, but pretty soon I will just put the bottle next to her, so she has to put it in her mouth herself. It takes some practice to get the bottle in her mouth herself without having arms, but eventually she manages to grab the bottle with her mouth, roll on her back, and drink. Once she gets the trick, I will blindfold her before she gets her bottle. Before her training is finished, she must be able to find the bottle and drink it without being able to see. The food and drink has to come out again too, so you have to put her on the toilet a few times a day. Since she cannot move, you have to lift her up and bring her to the toilet. When I am out for business, I normally put a catheter in her urinary tract since she does not eat much. She does not shit much either. Although she can no longer speak, I can still communicate with her to teach her some elementary things. I will teach her to give a proper blowjob. I will teach her to enjoy sex when her clit and labia are stimulated with a vibrator. I will also teach her what it means to be a slave. I will whoop her pussy every day. I will whip her every day, mostly in combination with using a vibrator. So she will at some point in no time no longer be able to discriminate between pain and pleasure. I will put clamps on her breasts, stretch her labia, I will intensify her training when I treat her with more needles. She will be treated with hot wax, tortured with needles, she will be electrocuted, her cunt will be sewn shut. Any possible form of torture she will have to endure before she gets to the next stage of her transformation. In this phase, I will blindfold her most of the time, but I will take care she will also actually see how I torture her. I have a camera running most of the time, and she will have to watch her own torture, plus some more really hardcore torture movies, at least an hour per day. At some point in time, she is not only physically a slave, but also became mentally a slave. Her mind no longer resists, she can become totally submissive, then I will make the last modifications to make her a slave toy. She is already immobilized and unable to communicate herself. Until now, she was still able to see and hear. She was not completely sensory deprived. A true slave toy can no longer move, speak, 
see or hear, but only feel. Before depriving her of her last senses, I give her a mild anesthetic. Then I put headphones on her ears and play extremely loud noises for several hours. This will be sufficient to damage her hearing for good. She will not be able to hear anymore. As a final touch, I will treat her eyes with a laser. She will not be completely blind. My Tanya and Luda still react on strong lights, and I guess they can still see some faint shadows, but they cannot recognize anything anymore, and they are almost deaf. Nevertheless, I blindfold them most of the time, but that is because I like a blindfolded girl. They are completely numb. They don't even make noises when I torture them. They are completely numb. They don't even make noises when I torture them. I can only see from the reactions of her body, the increased speed of breathing, and the expression in her face, she is suffering pain. When she has recovered from this, she is now transformed in a helpless little toy and ready for sale. They are very easy to keep, just a little bit of food, need only a little bit of care, like daily cleanings. They are immobilized, you can attach them to any object and even make decorations out of them. They cannot speak, hear, or see. They are completely sensory deprived. The slave toys that are for sale are still virgin and just entering puberty. Nevertheless, they are well trained for oral sex and have been tortured and abused heavily. They can get pregnant, so anti-conception is advised unless you enjoy having a pregnant slave toy. Just let me know if you want to order one.